Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Rotax publishes service bulletin for all 915i and 916i engines. Starship set to launch Thursday. B-17 aluminum overcast tags offered to support legendary aircraft. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Rotax publishes service bulletin for all 915i and 916i engines. The Rotax folks have published a service bulletin after issues were noted that may affect all 915i and 916i series engines. Rotax operators have reported occasional isolated cases, a momentary slipping of the overload clutch, which may lead to a slight exceedance of the maximum RPM limit, followed by the engine RPM quickly normalizing. Rotax describes the overspeed event whereby the engine speed setting is actually between 5500 and 5800 RPM at wide open throttle, quote, followed by a sudden overspeed up to 6500 RPM for less than a second. The clutch increases its transmittable torque during slipping conditions and synchronizes the engine speed with the propeller again, which consequently led to an undercut of the engine speed down by 4,000 RPM, followed by a recovery of the initial engine setting between 5,500 and 5,800 RPM. The entire event is lasting up to three seconds. In rare cases, if upper sequence happened more times than identified, the transmittable torque of the overload clutch will be reduced and the speed fluctuation just can be stabilized by a slight reduction of the throttle down to 96%. If the engine speed has stabilized, the throttle setting could be increased to WOT again." End quote. After the break, NASA's Hubble temporarily pauses its science mission. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. I think it's a very important thing to share the joy and love of flying. Our customers fly to remote places. They use our products to go places that are difficult to get to. Parts has been an excellent partner for Whip Air, uh, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demands. And it is that shared experience and the joy of flying that brings us all back and charges all of our batteries up. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. NASA's Hubble telescope temporarily pauses its science mission. Not all is quite right with the Hubble Space Telescope. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope entered safe mode May 24th due to an ongoing gyroscope issue, suspending science operations. Hubble's instruments are stable and the telescope is in good health. The telescope automatically entered safe mode when one of its three gyroscopes gave faulty telemetry readings. Hubble's gyros measure the telescope's slew rates and are part of the system that determines and controls precisely the direction the telescope is pointed. FedEx pilots hold picket in Memphis. FedEx pilots haven't been too keen on FedEx's new One FedEx scheme, to the point they're willing to set up an informational picket at their Memphis base. One FedEx is a, quote, new operating structure that will create even greater flexibility, efficiency, and intelligence to unlock value for customers, team members, and stockholders, end quote, according to their April press release. FedEx pilots are chapped that their negotiations still haven't come to a close, so they spent some time at the company's Shady Grove headquarters to remind them there's still some bargaining to be done. Nexus eVTOL demonstrator comes together. 
Textron has successfully connected the two halves of the fuselage of its electric vertical takeoff and landing Nexus full-scale technology demonstrator. This significant milestone involves joining the central sections of the aircraft that are designed to seat passengers. The fuselage assembly milestone supports the demonstrator's first flight expected next year. The Nexus is being designed to meet the world's need for sustainable aviation alternatives that can perform a variety of missions. Vertical Flight Society Director Gains NASA Recognition One of the Vertical Flight Society's own has been given the Exceptional Public Service Medal from NASA, garnering just another smidgen of prestige for the organization. VFS Director of Strategy Mike Hirschberg was recognized with the EPSM, which is awarded to those who contribute to NASA's mission without being on a government payroll. Hirschberg was honored at the NASA Ames Research Center's 2023 Presidential Rank and NASA Honors Award Ceremony, where 73 individual and 27 group awards were given to NASA employees, contractors, and groups. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Will they beat Starliner? Starship set to launch Thursday. As previously noted, the next Starship launch seems to be pending soon. According to Elon Stroops, the fourth flight test of Starship could launch as soon as June 6, pending regulatory approval. The launch window will open as early as 0700 Central. As is the case with all developmental testing, the schedule is dynamic and likely to change. SpaceX boasts that, quote, Starship's third flight test made tremendous strides towards a future of rapidly reliable, reusable rockets. The test completed several exciting firsts, including the first Starship re-entry from space, the first ever opening and closing of Starship's payload door in space, and a successful propellant transfer demonstration. This last test provided valuable data for eventual ship-to-ship -ship propellant transfers that will enable missions like returning astronauts to the moon under NASA's Artemis program. The fourth flight test turns the focus from achieving orbit to demonstrating the ability to return and reuse Starship and Super Heavy. The primary objectives will be executing a landing burn and soft splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico with the Super Heavy booster and achieving a controlled entry of Starship." End quote. And after these messages, B-17 aluminum overcast tags offered to support legendary aircraft. Welcome back. B-17 aluminum overcast tags offered to support legendary aircraft. Plane Tags has finished up a run of plates using some of the cast-off skins of the upper wings from the EAA's B-17 aluminum overcast. The skins were taken off March 2014, when the aircraft was overhauled and stripped down for a much-needed refurb. That material left the factory with it when it went to the U.S. Army Air Corps in 1945 and stuck with it while it went on to work as a cargo aircraft, aerial survey plane, ag bird, and crop duster in the decades following the war. Aluminum Overcast was sold off to a group of investors in 1978, B-17s around the world, who saw it as a fine airworthy choice to bring back to its original condition. The group donated the plane to the EAA in 1983. Aluminum Overcast remained on static display in their EAA Aviation Museum until 1993, after which they sent it on to a national tour in 94. While plane tags are generally expensive for what they are, they're a small way to snag a little shard of now long-gone aircraft in a way accessible to the average aviation nerd. Depending on the exact aircraft, make, model, and condition of the tag, some can be somewhat collectible on the second-hand market. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.